pretty good. Let's adjust that throttle cable and try it again. All right, let's take a look here. See, that's got quite a bit of slack in it. It's got some slack too. What we're supposed to do is check so with the pedal all the way down, verify that we're getting wide open throttle. So let's find a, maybe I got a pry bar around here. It's all the way down. Okay. Yeah, we are getting wide open throttle. Okay. I think it's a 12 millimeter. Let's see. Feels pretty good. Okay, we pull up that slack. And now this one needs to be pulled up a little bit. is a different size. Okay, you saw me just now complete adjusting the throttle cable. All I did was uh, loosen the two nuts, they're 12 millimeter, and take out the slop of the cable. Now you don't want to take out, make it too tight because then that will affect your idle. So you want there to still be, you want the throttle valve to still be on the stopper with the cable tightened back up and adjusted. So we did that. Now we're adjusting the transmission TV cable, I believe is what it's called, throttle valve cable. Basically, what that cable does is it allows the transmission to know when and how far you're depressing on the throttle so that it can downshift to an appropriate gear if needed. So what we're going to do is adjust it to take out the slack in the cable. Now in the full service manual, there is a measurement from the rubber stopper on that cable and how to adjust that very specifically with a certain uh, distance measurement. The reason why I want to try just taking the slop out first is because with the measurement method 
if that cable has stretched at all, then that's going to change how it, how it behaves. If we just take out the slop, then we have a really good chance of getting it to go reasonably well, and we're going to give that a shot. There's a little bit of slack in there, but it's tight. Let's see how that goes. Let's check the fluid again. It is warm under there. All right, it's a little bit overfilled. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Not too bad. See how that works. Well, the throttle pedal feels better. There's no slop in it because we took up that slack. Hey, shifted right there. That's second gear. I like where this is going. If this is good, then we can turn our attention to the air conditioning. third gear seems to be doing much better much better just gonna go back up here to the road so we can get a little speed and let's see how it ships into overdrive I think the transmission issue is resolved They're nice and smooth. Uh, the only thing left to do is adjust the shifter so that it reads correctly. 